Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Rise of the Third Power. I found out something funny about the area that we're in, where its name is Portfolio. Like a portfolio. Funny. Hilarious. So, one thing uh, I noticed last time, the, the game is feeling a little bit easy. I haven't had to grind yet. So, how about we bump it up to hard? I just want to see what the differences are for hard. If it's just like, enemies have twice as much HP, then I'm like, eh. If it's like, enemies do double damage and are maybe, like, do smarter tactics in combat, I'm like, yes, that gets a thumbs up. But just like, increased HP is always a boring one, so... We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I have any crazy amount of difficulty or anything with it. Oi! Welcome to Portfolio. Portfolio. Is that what you idiots are calling this place now? Yar. Anyway, we're looking for a way out of here. You guys still have that ferry running? Alright, lad. Speak with Heavy Slim. She's be around here somewhere. Alright. Yar, har, har. Portfolio. Finest hole in the earth you ever did see. Har, har, har. Yeah, you, uh, you guys certainly like this place, don't you? Hi. Bah, back in my day before the war, smugglers had a sense of honor. We are sticking it to the man, now everyone's out for themselves. Yeah, I'm all for sticking it to the man. I'd be a good pirate. What is through here? I thought that was like a secret door or something, but no, I don't think it is. I think it's just weird. What is it? Are you heavy slim by any chance? Aye. Take it you'll be needing the ferry. Well, let's shut down for the moment. Talk to the captain if you want to use it. Ugh. Where do I find this captain I keep hearing about? Cap's in the tavern, last I saw, just behind you. And, uh, word of advice, chum. Mind your manners in there. I don't think I will. I think I'll be as rude as I please. There doesn't seem to be anything. If you find yourself in search of treasure, I might advise you to go trawling along the east and west coast of the Paragon Sea if you- if and you have a ship. Ooh, are we gonna get a ship? Kingdoms were strapped for cash after the Great War. Navies got downsized and out-of-work sailors became pirates. Ah, oh, yeah, I think we do get a ship based off of the world map. I, Yeah, I imagine we would have to need a ship to travel places. We haven't actually been on the world map yet, I've realized. Which, that's crazy. I, It made me forget that this game even has a world map, but it does. So it's gonna be just like getting the high wind and traveling around and all of that jazz. Got some nice little sundries there. Yeah, I do want to be challenged by the game, so I thought upping the difficulty at least just to see. If I start to really get my ass kicked or just have to start grinding, like, you know, every episode or some shit, I'll turn it back down. But I do like me a challenge. It's not too crazy and not too grindy. Okay, this is an exit. Is this go anywhere interesting? Or is this... Okay, I think this is, like, the way out of this place. All right, let's go back over here, because we got to talk to the captain and rob them, of course. Reset. Ooh. Okay, reset talents. That's useful. I do love being able to respec. Truth is, King Horatio likes to turn a blind eye towards piracy these days. It's Tariki ships that tend to get hit more than Sirenthian ones. King, don't fuss too much if his rivals are the ones getting plundered, even if those rivals are supposed to be allies. Yeah, the Tariki and Sirenthian relations seem very strained. <laughs> Sings loudly but incoherently to herself. Me too. Ah, I'm too old for this. Ren sure seemed a lot smaller for the war. So many little factions now. Too much politics, bah. Well, sweetly, it's your play, Cupcake. Damn it, this woman's good. Shop. New Eras unlocked the Assassin's Band. What? Ring ward by Arcanian. Okay, okay, oh, yeah, gimme. Cool. Uh, I do want some whetstones. Gimme four of them. I have enough money. And I can sell you more gems. And two sundries. And a delicacy. And some wine. And, and an amethyst. Oh my god, I'm swimming in the cash. Yeah, we're really good on money right now. All right, so now I can craft some things. What do I want to craft? Uh, I can craft your keepsake locket. String plus three, sounds good to me. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I'm sticking with it. Item has been permanently equipped. Cool. And character, so... You have the ring of speed on. So damage from Chris is increased by 75%. 
That is nice. And I hear ya. But what about just increased crit chance in general? Like... That might be better? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know why I turned into a testificate from Minecraft, ignore me. Uh, I mean, I could at least get it on so I could attune it so we could find out, you know, what it's like because you've now finished this off, so the opportunist band is good forever. And I want to have as many options as possible. So once I finish something off, I probably will be switching around to other things. Um, unfortunately, the friendship ring and all these other things take like a millennia to attune. But we'll figure it out. Um, so, oops, I meant to go to the inn. We want a nap nap, right? Inns are generally located in towns and serve to give the party time to rest, allowing their exhaustion to recuperate and injuries to heal. Local specialty dishes are available at every inn, which provide a temporary boost to stats in battle. Furthermore, spending night in an inn will cause all wandering enemies and patrols to respawn should you like to go hunting. Okay, peasant's bed gives me the rested effect. Slightly increases the duration for the benefits of food. Wisdom. What does wisdom even do? Does does alcohol really increase your wisdom? I don't think it do. Uh, buff duration five battles. I mean, I'll uh I'll take that that that. I mean, it's very cheap, mind you. Yeah, it's only six. And yeah, I do want the peasant's bed as well. Just give me one of everything, please. Yeah, no, that's that's super cheap. Sure. Look at the little anima animations. Enemies respawn, so that's how you grind if you need to. The next day. Alright. Uh, I don't need to save, but sure. Cool. So, hey, Captain. Right, face Jim. Take a step back, chum. Captain doesn't want to be bothered. Maybe Slim said the captain was in charge of the ferry. We need a ride. Yeah, all right. Uh, ten ducats. I'll let you speak with the captain for ten ducats. No way. What, are you kidding me? Forget it. Oh, you want to sass me about it? Fifteen, then. No way. I wouldn't give you the scum I... S I wouldn't give you the scum I scrape off my boots, jackass. You're not talking to the captain, are you? Oh, you're back, huh? Well, it's still fifteen ducats. Okay, fine. I'd fine here. I just lost myself five ducats, but hey, we got to see some unique dialogue. That's more like it. Now that I got some coin, I'm getting drunk. See ya, rat. Dick. <laughs> yeah, he is a dick. Holy hell. Back up. Holy hell, what? The person we're supposed to talk to is Selin. Really? Captain Selin? Let me see. And who, dare I ask, is Captain Selin? And, uh, an acquaintance. She and Rowan used to be a thing before he and I met. Hey, she's pretty. Nice work, big guy. Yeah, thanks. She's a pirate captain with a good three or four ships in her command, and she's ruthless. And she's the one we speak to in order to vacate this dang hole in the earth. Is that irony? I like it. Not gonna do jack for me, not after how I ended things. How'd you end things? Well, it's, uh, you know, complicated. He got drunk and stole her ship. You did what? Okay, both of you shut up. The point is that she's not going to help me, so we need to think of something else. Here, I'll talk to her. She's never seen me before. You guys hang back. Karina, wait! Hiya! Captain Selin, right? Hi. Hope you got a good reason for bothering me, girl. That muscly lady outside told me I had to get your permission to book a ferry out of here. Yeah, really good. She is cute, Rowan. There you go. You fucked up. Hi, <laughs> girl, you do. Afraid it's closed at the moment, though. Too many Imperial spies on my ass lately. I ain't letting any tickets be sold until we can figure out who they are. Um, we really do need to get out of here. Anything I can do to change your mind? If you back off right now, I'll change my mind about having you tied to a boulder and drowned in the cave. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she threatened to drown me. Sounds about right. What a shame. I suppose we're stuck here. Seems like a great time to give this all up and let me go, hmm? Yeah, not gonna, not just yet, princess. We could just beat up the guards and take the boat ourselves, you know. Last thing we need is for a few dozen pirates to be chasing us down. We need something subtle. We already beat up a bunch of pirates earlier. 
Can I? Better steer clear of Selene. She knows I'm here, I'm as good as dead. But, but treasure, it's up there, it's just waiting for me. Okay, so, I'm guessing I need to go down that other path I saw. I feel like I got everything in here. So yeah, I think we can just go this way. Let's get out of here. I am interested to see how uh, combat differs now that I'm on uh, hard mode. Hello? Fairy, tavern, captain's cabin. Wait, the captain's cabin is right here? Captain captain isn't here. So I can I can steal shit, right? I can steal shit. This is my opportunity. Was, or we can go in there and find something to blackmail her. Probably not the best idea. I lost, rat. Whose place is this? Chance you'd feel like telling me whose place this is? Captain, so back off. Alright, alright, calm down. This must be Selene's house, huh? So what? What good does that do to you? Well, if you distract the guard, I could probably break the lock and peek in. And break in- break the lock and sneak in. Jeez. Who knows if she has anything useful in there, but I could take a look. Yeah, it's quite late for me right now. I'm not even gonna say what time it is. Oh, I'll, I'll let you think about your wildest dreams. About what time it could possibly be. But this is my last video I have to record tonight, so... Works for me, kid. Okay, princess, we're on distraction duty. Make yourself look cute. I got an idea. Oh, God. Hey, Mac, I got a proposition for you. I let you in, now leave before I have Celine sick or thugs on you. Oh no, it ain't about that. I need to make some coin. How much for an afternoon with my lady friend here? Oh my god, you're trying to prostitute her out? No, Rowan. No, we don't do that. No, you're not- you're not- you're not selling a, a night with the princess. No, that's not happening. Especially if she doesn't want it to. Well now, let's have a look at her. Oh god, creepy. Creepy. I hate it. Mm, I suppose she's pretty cute. What? You suppose I'm pretty cute? Okay, pirate, it's time to teach you a thing or two about beauty. Alright, Selene. I'm sure you must be keeping some secrets in here, right? <laughs> Fucking... Leave it to the... The, the, the creepy-ass old man pirate. Rowan just knew that would work. Well, I'm gonna rob you as punishment. Well, you're... The Selene's not the one that did it, but still. Creepy ass old man pirate, jeez. Alright. What we got here? Sundries? More stuff? Is this gonna be the item I need? And this chest is an old leather bound book with fragile to ye fragile yellowed pages. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh my god, this is Selene's diary! I'll bet anything she'll trade me a couple of tickets for this! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna blackmail. The Pirate Queen. How is this any better than, you know, just killing the guards so the pirates are pissed off at us? Isn't she still going to be pissed off at us? Puppy. I had to pet the puppy before I left, okay? It was a requirement. Okay, that's just a window. I thought it was, uh, a another room or something. I'll give you 20 ducats for her. 22, then. 22? Is that all? Come now, I realize you're a bunch of smelly pirates, but we can do better, surely. Maybe if you stopped yelling at us. I'm not yelling! 23. Good man. This ain't an auction, damn it. I'll leave you guys alone for two minutes. Ariel's like... <laughs> she's just she's just looking to feel good about herself because of this. You guys are still creeps, though. Alright, damn it. What in the hell is going on here? I won't have any whoring on my premises. Who are these people? Rowan? Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> Shit. I've got a hundred ducats for the man that lands the killing blow on the dark-haired man with the coat. Oh, this took a rather amusing turn, didn't it? Well, in a second. Hey, Rowan, give me a boost. Hope you know what you're doing, kid. So, Lynn, I've got a bargain to make with you. The hell you do, girl. Get down from there and die with some dignity. As much fun as that sounds, I still got stuff to do, like blackmail, for example. Recognize this, Captain? A book? What in the hell are you going on about? You're in no position to... Is that what I think it is? Maybe. What do you think it is? 
Give that to me right this instant. Yeah, right. Let's see. The entry seems to be about from this entry seems to be about from eight years ago. Ahem. Last night with you was bliss. I have never felt a love. Wait, wait, wait! Don't, don't read anymore. I couldn't read the rest of that, but I'm guessing it's talking about Rowan. Okay. Do we have a deal then? Oh, we'll need a ferry ride out of here too. Oh no, you don't. I'll let you live, but I'm not going to give you one more one thing more than that. Ahem. This morning I was all. But certain you had left me a <laughs> Oh my god! Jesus! Your pit In? Oh god, okay, okay, fine, we have a deal. The lives are right out of here, just give me the tampon. <laughs> Jesus, Rowan. You broke her legs and we didn't get to hear the part about your penis, but... You promise? On your honor? Yes, damn it, on my honor, just get down from there. Okay. Okay, this this area, pirate area got real horny. Here you go. That was fun. She's probably gonna hurl us, uh, hunt us down and kill us for that, so we should get moving, huh? Definitely is the word you're looking for, kid. Let's go. Apparently Rowan's good at the sex. Well, let's go find the ferry and get the hell out of here before Selene decides to kill us anyway. Okay, that was, uh, interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a area we could go to, was it? No, okay. Just making sure. Howdy. Huh, I heard about how you got Selene. She's got, she's going to be fuming mad, but you got a fairy ride, so let me know when you're ready. By the way, this is a secret tunnel, so don't go blabbing about it. Anyone got it? Anyway, ready to go? If it's a secret tunnel, how did I find it? Checkmate, idiot. <laughs> God, I really didn't expect that. I really didn't expect the horny talk out of this game. But we got real horny. They didn't fully say penis. Selene was just talking about his pin. Apparently Rowan has a really nice pin. Okay, mister, welcome to Ocean Vale. Like I said, this is a secret, so hush about it or you'll be in trouble. Damn, kid, you're like a mini Selene in training. Yeah, I get it. The difference between me and her is I'd have gutted you for that stunt you pulled back there. She's getting soft. But, uh, please don't tell her I said that. I'll be here if you need a ride back. Well, now I have blackmail on you, too! Haha! -ha! Okay, so, yeah. This is just a dungeon for us to explore now, I suppose. Uh... Okay, there's some stuff down there. Anything over there? Nope. So, we're probably gonna come back around to that area, because I don't see a way to access it from over here, because I cannot walk in the water. No. Okay, so we gotta go over here to get to that area. Alright, Rowan, let's go. Probably gonna have to fight some enemies here or something at some point, maybe, possibly. Ugh, finally, if I ever see another cave or pirate again, it'll be too soon. Then well, doesn't forget that little stunt. We're gonna be seeing pirates again sooner or later. Never mind soldiers from Evanheart will be here looking for Ariel before long. Oh my stars, is this the ocean? Yeah, what, you've never seen it before? Not up close, look how big it is. I like this music. You're in Thea's the world's strongest navy, and you of all people have never seen the ocean? No, is that strange? A little. Man, you really are sheltered, aren't you? I don't know, I haven't given a lot of thought. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's happening? You two are kind of just standing there? Okay, I think I, I had to press A to advance it. Ahem. Hey! Right, right. Sorry, Princess. We need to keep moving. Ah, yes. I was so lost in the majesty of the cerulean dream that lay before me that I almost forgot I hate you. Just where would we be moving to next, you awful criminal? Got a place here we can stay till dark, up on the northeast side of town. Oh, look at this beautiful town. We're us there. Get your scrapes covered, then head out to meet with the prince with the priestess Reyna in Goldwood Village. You're leaving at dusk, so get what rest you can. Wait, your Reyna is a priestess? You're taking me to Temple Talindra? Just what sort of kidnappers are you? The kind that only kidnap people when there's no other choice. Listen, kid, I know it's frustrating that I can't tell you more, but it really is true. 
Ran is the one in charge of this operation. Just hear her out, all right? We weren't kidding when we said we were out to stop a war. Now, can I take you to my place without you making a scene? Because we can go back inside that cave to wait until dark instead if you want. I'll be quiet. But I want something nice to eat and some tea as well, and a bath after that awful sewer. All fair things. We can do some of that at least. Come on, I'll show you my place. Alrighty. Huh, <sighs> it's so pretty. Yeah, the ocean's pretty. More of a more of a mountain snowy mountain person myself, but uh, ocean's pretty too. So if I go down here, can I get into that little area that I saw that had the treasure chests? I'm guessing that's where this goes. Yeah, boy. That does appear to be where this goes. Um, this is way bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, much bigger than I thought it would be. Oh my god, this place just goes. Okay, what is- ooh, an elite rhino beetle? Oh god, it's fast. 129. Elite cave beetle. Okay, you're scary. I am going to taunt you. Okay, so... I could death blow you to do a bunch of damage. God, you have a lot of HP. Let's uh, do one of these. And you can cannon and stun, hopefully? There we go. Good stuff. Whew, you love to see it. Alright, bang. And... Coup de gras? Yeah. I do wonder how much HP you would have if I was on normal. It's not really easy for me to get a good comparison between the two. But god, being able to stun you to death is uh, pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Slashy. And... Coup de gras? Here we go. Good stuff. Big flex. Okay, almost uh, leveled up. We got a warrior stone as well, so that's also good. you love to see it. Treasure. Sundries. Man, the music in this game has just, just been hits. It's like whole time. It's just been hits. I haven't had a miss yet. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um... Ooh, that's pain. Uh, I forgot to mention that I said last time that I think the copyright claim stuff was taken care of, but I actually don't think it was. Um, episode 4 did it get claimed, but episode 5 did again. I don't know if episode 4 just didn't have enough of the music or what, but it got claimed. Like I said, it's not the biggest deal, but it's worth mentioning. A venom sack. It's probably a crafting thing. Or it provides immunity to poison for 5 turns. And we leveled up. Okay, yeah, a hard difficulty doesn't seem too bad so far. Of course, it's probably mostly gonna come into play when uh, I'm actually in a boss fight. Um, so, who do we want to spend these points on? That blows a 25% chance to kill non-boss targets. That would be good if I just spam it um, for killing enemies, but like, like I said, I already one-hit most things with Karina anyway. Coup de gras damage bonus includes any negative status effects. Is taunt considered a negative status effect? Increases duration, plus 2% crit, and drop rate of items in combat is doubled. That's a good one to get early, I feel. 50% chance to apply under armor, 5% dodge, killing enemy restores energy, explosive shot. Like, I feel like I should just get that now. But also it's under armor. Thunder Armor. Alright. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy with this decision that I have made. Okay, so... Where were those treasure chests I saw? God, this place is massive, by the way. It's so... big. Just like Rowan's pen. <laughs> I can't believe the game did that. I was not prepared for that at all. Oh, another Elite. Yeah, you are very fa- Ooh. You are very fast. And I don't like that about you, just saying. Um, well, I'm going to want to eviscerate you, I be believe. Could put you to sleep. I'll just eviscerate you. And stun, please. Thank you. 
really liking that stun. I'm also getting incredibly lucky with it. Also happy about that. So, coup de gras. Another cannon with the coup de gras and the bleed may be enough. No, the bleed's not going to do that much. I did get the stun again, though. <laughs> wow, amazing. It looks like the bleed was enough, too, so I had nothing to be worried about anyway. Cool. God, it annoys me that you guys are faster than me. Does that mean I'm actually under-leveled for this area? I suppose so, right? So I guess I do need to get me, uh, some grind and done. Level up a little bit. I can do that. This stun on your cannon is just so amazing. It feels like it goes off every time. I'm just getting stupid lucky. But I'm not complaining. Coup de gras. Yeah, and then the cannon will uh, finish you. And I'm building up towards my uh, super as well, so. But the enemies at least hit really hard now, so. I do like that about the higher difficulty. Because they, they did hit a little bit low before. So now things, I wouldn't say they hit like a truck, but they, they hit at least kind of hard. Power up. Uh, don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Um, I'm going to taunt you just in case you do decide to hit someone. I wish we could like have increased defense, but it seems like you can really only increase your health. But maybe I just haven't looked at the stats enough. No whether I can increase defense, really. Could put you to sleep if I needed to, but uh, right now I don't really need to. There's no way I get this done again. What the hell? And having defense down on that too is busted. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, totally fine with increasing the difficulty, actually. This feels much more reasonable while still being manageable. It said you would need to grind, maybe, so that's what kind of turned me off from the idea of increasing the difficulty, but I don't think I will, <laughs> quite frankly. I usually don't like grinding uh, if I don't have to. One, because, I mean, for an LP, it's kind of boring, and it, it basically just wastes my time and everyone else's if I have to grind. I don't mind grinding when I'm playing uh, RPGs by myself. In fact, when I was a kid, grinding is most of how I handled problems with challenge. But uh, now it's like, if I'm LPing, it's basically just a waste of time for me, a waste of time for everybody watching. So I like to avoid it if I can. It's just a good idea. But I also fight most enemies that I find. God, we're fighting a lot of you elite bastards. Owie. Ooh, pain. Okay, well, uh, rogue toss. The bluey. Eat it, dork. Um... You're taunted. I could death blow you. Let's death blow you and then, um... Ariel can finish you off. Boom. There we are. Another warrior stone. I'm getting a lot of those. Also getting a lot of XP. I probably should buy some lesser heals from the shop when we go back. I'm gonna start needing those things. The other reason I upped the difficulty is I wanted to possibly consider using some of these like cool items they have. They have like a lot of consumable items that seem like they'd be pretty good. Ow. Okay, you're in pain currently. We'll taunt. So that you focus on me, you big dumb beetle. Let's eviscerate you. Yeah, I should just get that chance to insta-kill with death blow, and then I can just spam death blow like crazy. We finally didn't get the stun. I was actually expecting to get it so hard that I was shocked when the enemy attacked me. Craziness. Because my chance is like, what? Isn't it 25% now? I want to say... It is. Might be slightly higher. Okay, ring of speed's attuned. How much does that increase my speed now? Let's also drop my other lesser heal on you. So we are out of those now. Gotta watch that. Uh, character. So, a 30 speed. Jeez. Okay, well, you, you'll probably go before these beetles now. At the very least. I keep getting confused by this place. It's so big and open. Everything. 
It's easy to get lost in. But I think I've taken out most of the enemies now. So what's over here? Um, this. What's through here? Is this where I get to those treasures? Yeah! Okay, see, this is what I came down here for. What I was trying to get. Delicacy and a bronze key. Quest added bachelor in a bind. What? Oh, well. Wow. And I made myself a handy dandy little bridge. Cool. Quests. Bachelor in a bind. Found a key in the chest in a chest in the caves beneath Ocean Vale. Find the key's lock. Okay, so that must be a quest here, since it says Ocean Vale, and we have discovered that this is Ocean Vale. Yeah, I know, I'm very smart. Another one. Okay, and I am faster than you now though, so I can taunt before you attack one of my one of my friends here. Owie. Um Eviscerate you. And cannon you. Stun? Nope. I, I used all of my stun luck up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this heal. We're we're about done with this place. Oh, I didn't even need to do it. I didn't even need to do it. Well we might not kill you this round actually. In fact we probably won't won't. But I might get the stun. Yep, I used all of my stun luck. My stun... My stun luck is done. Owie. Pain. Coup de gras, though. Uh, yep. Sounds good to me. Big stabbies. You are dead, Zo. Another warrior stone. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Is this something? I, I don't know. That looked like a... If, if this was a Zelda game, I would bomb that wall. Just saying. Very, very sus wall. If you'll uh, allow me to allow me to say that. Very sus wall. Uh, hi. Wow, you guys got a nice balcony hanging out over here. Congratulations. Okay, we've almost built up our meter. I think I'll fight you normally, and then the other beetle I will super murder with my uh, abilities. Um. Let's death blow you. The only problem is Rowan's really getting hurt. Stun, please? And I don't really have any heals left. So you're just gonna have to booze it, I think. Hmm. See, it reduces your defense, though. It does heal 25% of your HP, though. Maybe that'll be enough to keep you alive. Oh, okay, or if you or if you do something stupid like buff yourself. That's, that's fine, too. If you do that, we're good. Um, yike. Uh, I'm a bit scared about my ability to kill you this turn. Well, Rowan could kill you next turn. It's not that bad. And also, yeah, I, I did kill you with that. Cool. Alright, next turn I'll use my thingy. Assassin's Band is attuned. That was fast. Alright, so let's take that Assassin's Band off. 8% extra crit chance. Uh, I think I'd rather have this. But, um, what other things could I possibly attune on you? Damage is increased by 15% when at 100% MP. Eh. Mm. Escaping no longer incurs. Eh. Falling in battle no longer. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll uh, stay on the opportunist band. Why don't we? What is your crit chance? 10%. Yeah, that's not awful. That's not an awful crit chance. Go away. You're trying to. I see you trying to path your way over here. Oh, okay. At least you're an elite. Well, that makes me feel better. Um, let's rogue toss your ass. Because that'll heal me up. Reduce my defense as well, but, uh... Haha, my defense is already down, nerd, but... Now my defense is, like, super down. But you're gonna die anyway. We are A-okay. Kablooey. Out of my house. Cool. Alright, we almost got, uh... Two levels in this place. And I think I've gotten all the treasures now. I think that was pretty much it. And if I miss something, I have no idea where the hell it's at. He checks it. Uh, wait, what is this? 
No, 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 I did go down there. That is, that is, that is right, that is right. We good, we good. Alright. Well then, let's get out of here. Why do, oh, that's a dead end. That's not how we get out of here. Alright, this away. <clears throat> We've made it out! Congratulations, me. Alright, so we can go rest up somewhere. That leads to the pirate den. What leads, uh... Nothing's over there. Unless I can go under it? Nope. Just thought I'd check. Alright, who wants their houses robbed? I'm here, and the hero tax is strong. Hello there, Rowan. Not out pirating anything today, I hope, you rapscallion. <laughs> Come on, I got out of that trade a long time ago. Once a pirate, always a pirate, I say. Ha ha ha. Okay. That's not how it works, but sure. The chef? Yeah, he's a little bit crazy. What? Uh, uh, okay. You good, friend? What are you doing? Get out of my kitchen. I'm creating art in here. Art, I say! I can't let that charlatan who calls himself the king's chef outdo me. Okay, you got anything I can steal? Like your gold pot there? Eh, it's probably not gold. Probably like brass. I don't think cooking in gold is a good idea. Furusia of the Old Republic, founders of Tariq. Celestial sect, songs of love and wine. You're the mayor, you got this big ass house, but you don't have anything for me to steal? I am the hero of the world. I, you know, I, I need stuff. Like, can I at least have that sword? Anything? We have a maid, why do I have to clean? Learning responsibility blows. Tell me about it, kid. Okay, well the kitty was our prize. Oh, I can't even... I can't even pet the kitty. This house sucks. This mayor sucks. I don't know about the town yet, but the mayor sucks. Not impressed with the mayor so far, you jackass. Alright. Out here? Hello? Uh, there's some stuff over here. Hi? Look at the ocean always makes me feel so tiny. Yeah. Ocean has a way of doing that. I'm rushing from Nadim and Tariq. Been some unrest lately, so I haven't been able to make my usual routes. But I made it out here, but unless things calm down, I don't know when I'll be able to make another trip. Okay. I'm going to go in the shop now. Hello. Ring of Speed and Thief's Band are now available for uh, purchase. And sell those things. Sell those things. Sell that. God, I'm loaded. Um, I want some more of these. Yeah, 20 will do me. Alright, uh, and I have enough of these, I feel like. I think I'm good there. Uh, if I ever want to buy some of them at some point, I can. I mostly just wanted to get some healing items. Can I loot your stuff? Can I have your dog? Not gonna let me have your dog? I can pet him at least. Hmm. Not a whole lot going on in there. Can I steal this? Man, I can't steal anything in this town. What's with the conscience all of a sudden, Rowan? Main characters in JRPGs haven't had consciences in years. This between you and me. Mother is wasting her time trying to convince my brother to take over the shop. He doesn't have the head for it. Not to brag, but I've read every treatise on business and economics I've been able to get my hands on. Father's doing as well as he can, but once I'm at the helm... Girl smiles slyly. I can I can take this quaint little village business and build a global trading empire. Oh, okay, kid. Whatever you say. This crazy capitalist child. Oop. Empty. Sorry. I, I want to... There we go. I don't care what Mama and Papa say. I want to grow up and see the world. Yeah, see, I'm more, I'm more with that kid. My son has a lot of strange notions. He keeps going on and on about adventuring and such. He'll grow out of it. We need him here to take over the family business. Mm-hmm. Always the number one question with these things. Where do you guys... Bathroom? You got you guys got a, like, a communal outhouse or something here? It's always the weird question to ask, but, you know, it's, it's an interesting one. Teacher, I have to go to the bathroom. Girl pretending to teach. Not until we finish with the lesson. Playing school. Here's my lesson plan. Which one should I teach today? Mmm, teach me about Serenthea. Ugh, alright, I'll play along. Let's go with Serenthea. Good choice. Pay attention. You might learn something. 
Okay, class, today we'll learn about the kingdom of Cyrenthia. We live in Cyrenthia. It has a type of government called a monarchy. That means its leader is a king or queen. Right now, the king is King Horatio. He's a dick. The king's daughter, Princess Ariel, is getting married to the son of the er Emperor of Arcadia. Back again, just a heads up, I don't give out extra credit. Tariq. Excellent choice. Okay, class, today we'll learn about the Republic of Tariq. They're a country to the south in the desert. They are friends with Cyrenthia and do a lot of trading. They have a government called a Republic. People there all decide what to do together instead of having a king. It's a strange place. Yeah, that sounds better. Alright, Arcadia. And they're an empire. Alright, alright, do Arcadia. Maybe you can give us some insight, kid. Good idea. Learning is fun, isn't it? Let's learn about the Arcadian Empire. It's a snowy country across the sea to the northwest. A while ago, they did some bad stuff and started a war, so Cyrenthia and Tariq formed an alliance with a few other countries and beat them. We also made them pay for all the stuff they broke. The leader is called an emperor. It's sort of like a king, but different. Right now, the leader is Emperor Noriskov. People seem to have very different opinions of him. Yeah, empires usually have a way of being jackasses. Alright, so... We're good there. Usually they want to, like, unite everyone under their one rule because they say, oh, it'll be better because there will be no war because we'll all be under the same rule. When in reality, it's more of just a power complex thing. Rowan, hey there. Why, I reckon I ain't seen you in a hot minute back in town, are you? Yeah, just for the day, though. Back to a day. Well, don't work too hard. Oh, hey, Rowan, I almost didn't notice you there. Sorry, I was lost in thought. Been a while since I've seen you in town. Been busy, have you? Hey there, Bart. Yeah, uh, busy, you could say that. Something wrong? Oh, nothing really, I suppose. Just had something on my mind lately. Great War wasn't that long ago. I feel like people forget that, especially in places that didn't bear the brunt of the fighting. Yeah, though it's hard to blame them. My ship went down in the war, and that's something I try to remember. I, I fought in the war myself. Ah, but you know that. Must have told you a hundred war stories by now, eh? Anyway, I have an idea. I need the mayor's support to see it through. He's not interested. I'd like to build a memorial to the fallen. Problem is, that sort of thing isn't cheap, and the mayor says we haven't a treasury for it. I've seen his house. He has the treasury for it. But I wonder if there might be some way I can convince him. Not sure what I could do, but maybe I'll have a word with him. Ah, well, I'd thank you for that. Do try to avoid your, uh, usual methods of persuasion, Rowan. Memorial for the fallen. Imagine the mayor will be at home, his home this time of day if you're serious about this. Oh, I'm serious. Regardless, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Us veterans need to stick together, eh? Alright, we'll work on a memorial. Doesn't seem like a bad idea for me, and the mayor can dole out the cash for it. I'm gonna head home before we leave for Reyna's place. It's the little house on the hill behind me. We're actually gonna get to see your house. That's kinda neat. Curious what kind of house you live in. 30 Arcadians, I can't believe the king even entertained a thought of marrying his daughter off to one of those pigs. I'm sure they had some hold over the king somehow, they'll stoop to anything. Alright, so yeah, some, uh, some... ...bad tensions definitely still alive from the war. You're a veteran, so it makes sense, I guess. Don't pay too much attention to my hubby, the Great War's over, but he still finds a way to blame the Arcadians for everything. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're at war watching your comrades and stuff get shot at by the other people it's uh for a lot of people that's that's a hard thing to get over but they're still just people and we're likely there just because their leader or whatever told them to be so at the end of the day you have more in common with the people on the other side than you do the people sending you out to war so, so yep you're angry i get it hopefully you stop that train of hate someday friend but I also haven't seen what the Arcadians are up to now. I mean, I'm sure not all the Arcadians are assholes, but I imagine Emperor Norskov is probably an asshole. But that's just a hunch. Something's going on in Arcadia, I heard. Old Norskov's really been cleaning house up there lately. Not just like a gentle spring cleaning, either. Heard he's retaken Oranad and had his beady eyes on everything south of there, too. Commoners weren't invited to the princess wedding, so I didn't get to see it. But I wouldn't give to go to the reception, though. Ice sculptures, hors d'oeuvres, a tin to your cake. Heard they even booked the Ramblin' Rangers as the live entertainment. Lead singer is so amazing. Treasurer of his official fan club, you know. Cool. 
Official fan club for the Ramblin' Rangers. Are we gonna meet him at some point? Wow, you guys have like nothing for me to rob, do you? Jeez. How's a main character supposed to make a living? Can't you see I'm super poor with my 800 ducats? I got paid two ducats to move a box earlier, so I know this isn't a small amount of cash. Alright. What's up? Hello again, Rowan, former pirate. Haha. <laughs> God, I hate this fucker. Anyway, if you're not here to pir pirate me, what can I do for you, my boy? Actually, I am here to pirate you. Actually, I could use your help with something. I've been talking with old Bart. Ugh, oh, that. I'll also have the town construct a memorial to the fallen of the Great War. A noble endeavor, to be sure, but what he has in mind is expensive. I could raise taxes, but without the support of the people, I'd be dealing with a mob at my doorstep. But if we had some way to raise support, then it may be feasible. As for ideas, any ideas how we might be able to get pe uh, people willing to back this? Nothing comes to mind. Actually, you know, if you're up for a bit of a hike, perhaps I do have an idea. It's an old battlefield just southeast of Riverton. Many folks from Ocean Vale fought in it, myself included. I wonder if there might be some old artifact there that might be able to... We might be able to use to inspire the people of this town. Inspiration is the best ingredient for raised taxes, I say. Got a lot on my plate these days, but if I happen to cross, I don't see why I couldn't take a look. A smile on old Bartello's face, at least. Man has been through a lot. Trying to make you find anything. Offer to bankroll. I got some coins saved up. How much would something like this cost? More than I can imagine ever. Ooh, I imagine we would need 3,000. Yikes, that really is a lot. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't have that much money, so we're definitely going to go to the battlefield. I was trying to avoid raising the taxes for the poor people that live here. But, um, yeah, either I come across a lot of money and we come back, or you guys are getting your taxes raised, unfortunately. All because old man here wants a memorial. Alright, did I go in here? I did not, there's a side quest in here. What is this? A baby? Gives you an inquisitive look. Good day. Horrifying. Husband is always looking for adventure, but he's getting a bit too old for that sort of thing. Hey, you're no spring chicken yourself. I'll pipe down, you geezer. Jeez, great relationship you guys have. There's an old cage southwest of town. It's a ways out there, but it's supposed to be haunted. At least something, wouldn't it? I ought to go see it. There's an old cave, so it's supposed to be haunted. That'd be something. Okay, that's a quest for me, I guess? But I've already, I've already been over there. Haunted cave? Who'd want a haunted cave? Anyway, maybe something interesting in there. Explore the haunted cave. Where was it? That's the one I went to. It seems there's an old cave southwest of town. I already went in there. And explored that, like, entire place. Finally! Something to steal! Thank you. Hey, kid. Give me your lunch money. I like to play outside, but I like to read, too. The temple here has lots of books, and they let me take them home. You have to bring them back, though. Don't forget to do that, the priests get mad. Okay, well, no lunch money stealing for me. Okay, so... I guess let's go check out that stupid cave again? I thought I had done everything. What do you have to say? My boyfriend and I were exploring the old mines here, but we lost track of each other. Then I heard a terrible howling sound. The store closed behind me, and now it won't open. I don't know what to do. I do. Move over. Oh. I thought this was the bronze key that I picked up. Well, never mind. Now I look like a dummy. Okay, southwest of town. It's got to be this place, right? There's apparently something in the cave that I missed. So let's get back in here. Is this con is this called the... No, it's just called Ocean Vale. It doesn't have, like, a unique name for the area or anything. This seems more like the mines to me than anything... Than the haunted cave. But I'll explore it some more and see if I can find anything different. Oh, I never did go down this way. Yeah, we never did go down here. There's even a beetle down here. Okay, so yeah, I didn't explore the entire thing. Yeah, sorry, I just kept getting turned around in that place. It was easy for me to get lost. Bye-bye. Aren't I... I am close to leveling up. I should probably murder you. I have healing items now anyway, so be a little bit easier. Let's taunt your ass first. 
I do love the animations in battle. Like, Ariel's hair kind of swaying back and forth is just such a nice little detail. It looks really good. Uh, let's death blow you, I think. That's big damage. If you had crit, this fight might be over. You crit, weirdly. You don't normally crit. And you're stunned. Okay, one more fight. We'll level us up again. And there was, luckily, another beetle right here. So this probably takes me out of that door that we were talking about, right? But it also told me to... It's haunted? Like, am I gonna have to fight a ghost somewhere? Is there another spot that I missed something? Possibly, I'm starting to think. I'm gonna do coup de gras this time. Getting the stun would be nice. Thank you. I'll uh, go ahead and booze up. Good stuff. So now I can coup de gras you. Stabby. And cannon. And then you're stunned again, so I can just booze up again. And uh, yeah, cool. Very drunk. Venom sack, level eight. You'll love to see it. Okay, so what do we want to put points into? I really want... Deathblow has a 25% chance to kill non-boss targets. Yeah, give it to me. Um, 25% chance to apply Sunder Armor on that is pretty good. Gain additional Rage, 5% speed, or plus 5 speed, not 5%. Gold received in combat is increased by 20% is very appetizing. And then this one's items dropped. And then what is yours? Effectiveness of potions for allies is increased. I feel like I need to go ahead and get your explosive shot. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll get to see what that is like in battle. Or is barred from the side. I'll go ahead and open the way. Hello, I did your quest. Oh, oh, you opened the door to the cave. But where's my Arbio? He's still lost in there, isn't he? Okay, I'll go find him. Apparently there's still other stuff I haven't found. And this was just, yeah. Hmm. It looks like there might have been an opening behind that bed, but I'm not sure. So what else did I miss in here? There's this path, which led out there. I've been over there. Um, yeah, that just leads to a treasure chest. What else we be missing? So if I go down this way, head up here. Yeah, that's where that was. I can't go that way. That's not an opening or anything. This doesn't appear to lead anywhere, really. Hmm. Okay, yeah, see, I'm, uh, I'm confused. Because the game seems to imply that there's more here, but I have absolutely no idea where that more is. Oh! Okay, I didn't realize this ladder went down to a new area. I thought it was just another way to get across that gap. Okay, yeah, I thought it was just a bri another bridge across that gap. I thought it was weird that there was like two bridges. I should have just tried the ladder anyway. But yeah, this just leads down to another floor. And there's where the key goes. Another elite one of you bastards. Alright. Let's go. I should be wrapping up this video soon, actually. Maybe I should go ahead and end it off here. In fact. Um. Possibly. Ooh, you crit then, when it didn't really matter because that skill doesn't do a lot of damage in the first place. Great. Uh, let, yeah, let's rogue toss your ass. What would be really nice is if the bleed killed you? Yeah, boy. Thank you, thank you. Got a warrior stone. Yeah, how big is this area, I guess, is the better question. If it's not too big, I can go ahead and handle it right now. But if it's too big, I can't go ahead and handle it right now. Alright, well here's where the bronze key goes. Get me in here. Look out! There's something in here! Oh no, here it comes again! Ooh, this might be rough. 
I could die here. Immune to stuns, Wappletinger, and it has complex patterns. It does 50 to 61 damage, though. That doesn't seem so bad. I'm gonna taunt anyway. Yeah, this might be a hard fight, actually. Slice. Ooh, you made me bleed. Um, well, I'm going to make you bleed, too. Enjoy. Okay, not not the highest damage. Moderate damage to all targets, deal critical damage to... Okay, so... Let's, uh... Do preparation. And Rowan, you're going to pistol the Wappletinger. Good crit. Like to see that. Ah, I should have had you do a basic attack anyway, so I could have stacked more things for coup de gras. That's my bad. We'll do it next turn. Ooh, hoo, hoo. A spicy crit. And that's going to be big damage. Unfortunately, we can't stun, so... All we're really going to be getting out of that is, um... That, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? The defense down from cannon. We can't get the stun. Haste. Oh my god, you're getting three actions next turn? No. Cease, please. You you quit that. You stop that, in the words of Velma. Ooh, nice dodge. I didn't realize uh, you guys were a target currently. Okay, you do have lower defense. I think I'm in a preparation again, though. Really need to... Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we can handle that. You're t okay, your, your haste wore off. Good shit. Good shit. So... Coup de gras? Crit? Oh, crit would have been nice. Owie. Okay, I was very intimidated at first, but now not not so bad. We're, we're doing it. Unless you have something that you're going to pull out of your ass at the last minute. That would be rude if you did something like that. Heavy damage to a target. I think I'll just slash to get the extra dot on you for, um, coup de gras. Right? Oh, we need to redo our own bleed. Alright, we're doing it, though. I was worried at first, but I think we're fine. Preparation again. Um, are you still taunted? You're still taunted. I could Fury. I could Booze. You do need Booze. You do need Booze. I'll just heal you up. That's probably the safer bet here. Yeah, alright. Luckily, I had a lot of XP before I stumbled upon this fight. Oh yeah, that, that bleed doesn't stay around long enough. For, uh, you. Um, Rowan, your bleed is for two turns. It needs to be longer than that for me to effectively use it with a coup de gras. Owie. Um, death blow? Death blow would do a bunch of damage. Death blow it. Oh, we living. Oh, I can't cannon you though. Grape shot? Would that kill you? Seems like it will. Oh. oh boy. Well then. Victory. Warrior Stone, bunch of XP, pretty good amount of uh, Ducats. I I think that was a Wappletinger, can you believe it? I didn't think they were real. Thank you for saving me, I have to get back to the surface. Yeah, that's right, get your ass on. Far be it from me to criticize your kidnapping technique, but this is what you're doing with your time. Did you steal me away just to help random peasants trapped in caves? Yeah, Missy Miss over here has a point. What are we doing? I have no idea. Just fall back in line. We're being controlled. <laughs> By some kind of unseen force. Alright, I think I just want to go ahead and finish the rest of this cave off, assuming it's not crazy long. This episode, once again, really not a good idea for me to be doing this. But I can avoid the enemies if need be. Which will speed up the process a little bit. Unless that one just runs up on me like a maniac. 
Okay, it's fine though. We have a uh, rogue toss. We can pop that on you and kill you pretty easily. Especially if you do something stupid like that. Death blow. Death blow is crazy strong. I kind of love it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So you don't see me. Why'd you have to see me? Damn you. Just pistol it and then we'll death blow it and then cannon it if, if need be to finish it off pretty quickly. Stabby. And cannon? Oh, not quite enough. Okay, well you're stunned anyway, so it's fine. Slashy. There we are. All right, get me out of here, please. That, that was everything in here, right? We went up there, we went to the thing. Yeah, I think that, that was everything down here. Uh, unless, wait, what? The, the, there's still the haunted cave. Explore the haunted cave. Did I get the directions wrong on the haunted cave? I thought it said southwest of town. Which, this certainly would be southwest of town. Oh, it means there. I thought it meant, like, more literally southwest of town. Uh, I don't think it's that, it's, it's that literal. It's not the little mine over here. Okay, so it's outside the town, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing. I, I'm thinking that's probably not the, the same thing there, but let's go collect our reward and be done with this. Oh, my stars. Thank goodness I was so worried about him. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was a little reckless down there. Fortunately, these folks came along and helped me out. Maybe we should find another way to be romantic besides spelunking. And that's the only thing that turns me on. <laughs> God. You're turned on by spelunking together? Me too. Okay, thanks for your help. We'll figure something out. Good luck. What a bunch of weirdos. Hey, where's my reward? Desecrated charm. It will give you luck, or so legend has it, but if there's if there is any power here, something about it feels off. 2% extra dodge. Wait, relics? Relics are rare mystical treasures with a connection to the land of Rin itself. I thought this was just something I put on, like an accessory. Legends say they hold great and mysterious power. When Ar Arenathan, the storm wizard, banished the god beast to slumber a thousand years ago, some of their power still lives inside these relics, and you can feel them empowering you just by holding them. Wait, are these just permanent buffs? Excuse me? Excuse me? Permanent buffs? Where are, the, where are these listed? Items. Yeah, it will give you luck or so legend has it, if there's any. Okay, so wait, do I just have a 2% buff to all my character's dodge chances now? I don't know what everybody's dodge chances were before, but it looks like you two may have had 1% dodge and you may have had three. Wow, that's amazing. And yeah, just just to reiterate, this is not something I equip, right? It is not. Wow, I think that's just a permanent dodge chance buff. That's nuts. That is quite good, I would say. Uh, I'm going to put this on again. The uh, volatile trinket with a chance to just negate damage that I would take on Rowan. Because that seems pretty good. Alright, with that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rise of the Third Power, and I'll see you next time.